GGUF is a file format used for storing large language models. And in this video, we're going to learn how to run hugging face models in GGUF format on our machine using Olama. So let's head over to the hugging face website and we're gonna just click in the search bar at the top and we're gonna type in GGUF. And you can see it comes back with models which mention this and there are more than 1000 of those. But I find generally for running models on our machine, it's better to get those 7 billion parameter ones. So let's add in a 7B uh, at the end. And you can see now we're down to just under 400 models, which is still quite a, quite a few to choose from. Uh, on the search page, let's sort it say by recently updated. So we'll get the latest ones uh, and we'll scroll down and let's find one to, uh, that we can use. So the bloke has been creating loads of these. So let's let's pick one that, that he's been working on. So we'll pick Mistral Light. And if we click on that, we get this, uh, this page and it has lots of information uh, about the model. And if we sort of go all the way down, we can see that there's actually lots of different uh, versions of this model that have been created by the bloke. The ones at the top uh, tend to have been quantized much more, so they, they, are, they will be smaller and run quicker, but generally with less uh, quality. And as you go down, the quality goes up, but, but the size and the time that it takes to run uh, go up as well. So it seems to be like there's one in the middle, Q4K underscore M uh, seems to be a good one. So it says it's got medium balanced quality and is recommended. So let's, let's pick that one. So if we click on that, uh, we get taken through to a page describing that particular model. Now we can download these models using the Hugging Face Hub CLI. So if we come over to the terminal, we're going to have a look at my uh, Poetry Pi project file. And you can see there in the middle, I've got the Hugging Face Hub dependency. So let's start writing that. So we're going to say Poetry Run, Hugging Face CLI, download. And then you need to put in the name of the repository. So we'll just come back and we're going to copy the repository from that page. And then we'll go back and paste it in. And then the next thing we need is the name of the file itself. So let's go back to the page and we'll get that as well and we'll paste that in. Now, if you don't pass in the file, it will try to download all the files, which will take up a, a lot of space. So you probably want to make sure you just have one file. Uh, once we've done that, we're going to tell it where to download it. So we'll say local directory downloads, and then we'll say don't use any symlinks. And then we're going to we're going to run it. Now it comes up with this message telling you that you should use HF transfer for faster downloads. But I have actually had a look at that, and I, I find this method that we're using is actually perfectly fine. Uh, and I. So I, 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 I wouldn't necessarily uh, recommend against uh, using this uh, Hugging Face CLI. Let's speed this up a bit because we've all got things to do. Uh, and you can see it takes about a minute uh, to download it. Um, I have got this connected on Ethernet. And then afterwards we can have a look at our downloads folder and you can see in there we've got our Mistral Lite uh, GGUF file and it's 4.1 gigabytes. Now we're going to learn how to run this model on our machine using a tool called the Llama. Now, Alama is a tool that lets you run LLMs uh, on your own machine. Uh, at the moment, it works on Mac and Linux, but Windows support is coming soon. And we're going to have to create something called a model file. So I, I kind of think of this as like a Docker file, but for LLMs. And we're in there, we can say from, and then we need to put the location of the GGUF file. So it's dot forward slash downloads and then Mistral Lite at GGUF. Uh, we'll close that now. And what we can do is we can call the Alarma create command. We'll say, what, what name do you want to give your models? We'll say Mistral Light, and then point it at the location of the file. And it will say it's going to create it. It will only take a few seconds. And, and then we've got our file, which we can see if we type in Alarma list. As uh, so you can sort of see in the middle there, two seconds ago, we've got our Mistral Light latest model. And we can then run this model using the Alarma run command. So we'll say Alarma run, Mistral Light. I don't know what is Grafana. And you can see it sort of gives us like a big explanation of the, the Grafana visualization tool. Now I want to conclude this by showing you a tool that lets you see what's going on when you're running these models. So the one that I'm using for Apple Silicon is called ASCII Top. But if you look on that, that page, and I'll include the link below, there are, are other ones for, for different operating systems. And so we're going to just split the terminal into two, into two and I'm going to do sudo ASCII Top. And then what we're going to do is rerun the previous command where it was asking what is Grafana. As you can see at the top there is my machine's spec. And while this is running, the GPU is at 99% and my RAM usage is increasing by about three gigabytes or so. And then it goes back down once it's finished. And so being able to use GGUF models is quite a neat feature of Alama. And it means you can take any of those other thousand GGUF models and run them locally. But Alama also comes with many built-in models. One of those is Mistral AI. And if you want to learn more about that, check out this video up here and I'll see you in the next one.